Hey everybody, this is Bridget with GiveWP.com. I'm here with Jason Tucker from WP Media Pro. Thanks for being here, Jason. So back in April, you did a Give campaign for this Mevo camera. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah. So, well, the way it started is I really wanted to do something with one of these. And this thing just came out. It was a, I don't know if it was crowdfunded at the beginning, but the idea was that they wanted to come up with this really cool camera that's a 4K camera but it shoots in 4K, but it only records like 720p. Nice. Which means that you have this huge place to work with, but it's gonna shrink down to about this much and you can move it around. So we're actually recording it live on here, so I wanna show you something real quick. So I can actually switch the camera over to Bridget, so now Bridget's there, and then I can switch over to me, and now the camera's over to me. And if you're looking on the camera, you can actually see how it switches between the two different locations, oh, and it tells you who's live and who's not live. That's awesome. And if I do the whole thing, it's the whole thing. <laughs> So we're actually using the iPad to control this whole thing, and which, which is the whole reason why I wanted to do this, is to be able to quickly and easily record something or stream it and get it out there so people can enjoy it. So you were using this to record WordPress meetups for those who couldn't attend? Correct, yeah. And what were you doing before this camera? <sighs> so <laughs> I started out with an iPhone, and it was, oh geez, it was a couple years back. So I started out with the iPhone, I took the iPhone and I would set it up on like a little pedestal thing. And then, because I went to, you know, Steve Zingit's meetup and I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if I could actually record this stuff because the content that's coming out of there is huge. And, I, and I'm a content creator. Right. I can't write worth a darn, but I'm a great content creator. And I don't mind no, you know, doing stuff that that's content creation without writing you right. know it's like I'm gonna record something or I'm gonna do a podcast or something like that so I started out with the iPhone and that didn't work out very well because the quality sucks and the rooms loud and whatever else so what I ended up doing instead is um, uh, bring in a tripod set the tripod up and try using the tripod that didn't seem to work it it was clunky just took a lot of time to set up mm -hmm. One tripod led to a webcam, which then led to a laptop, which then led to cords running all over the place. Then um, by the end of this, I ended up having, um, I even tried an iPad inside of one of those containers. Wow. Like one of those like enclosures that holds the iPad and has a lens on it. It's ridiculous. So when I do something, I try to do as much as I can to get it to work the way I want it to work. And this just wasn't working for me. That sounds complicated. It sounds like it takes a long time to set up. It well, sounds expensive. It got worse because I was like, I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to run really long cords to different cameras. And I had a camera pointed at the person and a camera pointed at the screen. And I was recording those two feeds mm -hmm. and then at going home and editing it and putting it all together just so you know people could watch a video and I'd get like four views on those videos. Wow, that's a lot of work. But we know that the videos were valuable. They're totally valuable for those four people that wanted to watch the videos. <laughs> <laughs> so what ended up happening is I started getting requests from people to actually watch this stuff live. So um, at the time we were already doing WP Water Cooler, which is a podcast and YouTube show that I do about WordPress. And I was like, well, hmm, okay, if I can do the exact same type of technology and have two different cameras going, that would work out perfect. So, so were you I started inspired using by Hangouts. Facebook Live? Um, no, it was way before Facebook Live. Okay. So the, the idea was to use Google Hangouts to have two separate cameras and have one camera that's for one person, the person, and another camera that's just for the screen. Later on, I ended up ditching the idea of a camera and a screen thing and just recording the person with a camera and then recording the screen using some software to hijack the video off the person's computer. That's all fun and good until like you have some guy that shows up with a Windows computer or somebody that's trying to use a Chromebook or whatever to present. It's not fun. Oh, wow. So, nevertheless, got down to the point where I was like, I'm done doing this. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so sorry, you folks. I don't want to drive from wherever it is that you live to do this. I'm just not doing the recording anymore. And I started getting requests from people still. Oh, why aren't you doing that? Can you can you help me out? I really want to go to these meetups, but I can't drive there. And I was like, okay, let me see what I can do. And then this thing pops up in my newsfeed, and I'm like, oh, this thing's beautiful. 
So it's teeny tiny, it's like this big, mm -hmm. and it has an additional stick that goes on the bottom of it. So this thing right here is kind of this longer stick piece. Let me see if I can get it in the frame. This longer stick piece that's on this here, and what it does is it gives you more battery. Oh. So between the battery and the actual camera, now I have everything that I need to be able to record these things. So now I can go to an event or in Panera <laughs> and, <laughs> and hit record and be able to, you know, record record locally. And if you have good Wi-Fi or just Wi-Fi in general, you can connect to the Wi-Fi and then stream it using Facebook Live. So assuming you didn't have six hundred dollars in your bank account for this, you decided to crowdfund. Why right. do you use traditional crowdfunding? So, you know, I do this show with you. <laughs> and I was like, it'd be great if, you know, if I could do something like this, but I just don't, I don't know where to start. And you're like, well, you know, obviously I've talked about give all this time and I work at a church and I understand how, you know, generosity works and how giving works and how you can accept funds and all that sort of thing. I was like, how could I make this work? And you're like, well, start a campaign. It'd be easy. I was like, I, I, I hate asking for money. I absolutely hate asking for money. This is not like we're trying to save, you know, some kid from cancer or some somebody's losing their house or something like that. This is me wanting to buy some, you know, computer hardware to record videos. And, you know, after talking with you and a few other people, it was like, yeah, let's make this happen. So how easy was it to set up Give on your WordPress site? So I already have a website, I already have a following on that website, and I was like, well, this shouldn't be too difficult to pull off, and so download Give, totally free, from which the is repo. cool, from the repo, straight from the repo, I installed it, that took like seconds, and then um, after that it's like, oh, so you just use PayPal, oh, okay, and I'm like, I'm just like any other geeky type person, no one ever reads the instructions, ever. So if this thing isn't holding my hand the whole way through, then... I'm gonna I'm gonna just start asking questions that are definitely being answered the first like paragraph of the instructions. So um, it just it was quick and easy. It was super simple. There was no like I didn't have to figure anything out. It's like which the email address you're gonna tap into <laughs> for your PayPal. Right. And then the hard part was like, how do I ask for money? So that's good because it brings up the ability to customize your donation form. So. Right. I know that we chatted about this, and um, we know from research that if you leave the donation amount blank, you're you're going to get less money. But if you make suggestions and you describe what those levels are, you're usually more successful. And so I saw that your donation form had like twenty-five dollars or whatever, different levels, all the way to six hundred dollars. Yay, you're, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you how how did you see that coming through? Did that right. seem to help? Well, I, you know, I was kind of reluctant to put the six hundred dollar mark on there because how 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 lame would that? I mean, it's it's great. I would be totally happy that somebody would just drop six hundred dollars, be like, done, don't have to worry about it. And so um, I was like, man, I hope somebody doesn't just give six hundred dollars because the entire like the story of this mm -hmm. is going to be like. This one person gave six hundred bucks, and that was it. So I was like, okay, I hope that this thing goes at least gets gives a little bit of time to go through. The people that are involved in this would definitely be able to um, to feel that they're contributing to something because right. they've already been contributing to something by asking me, hey, can you do video here? Can you can you stream this? Can you archive it? Hey, my, my talk was really great. Can you upload it to WordPress TV? We actually actually, actually used to up, upload this stuff to WordPress TV. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So we'd act just like a like a like a uh, WordCamp. Do you feel that people contributing to that campaign felt more ownership in the project? I think so. Yeah, yeah. very much so. Um, so much so that when we were doing hallway track, which is another thing that I do. See, this is the thing. This thing is being used for like nine different things. So. With, with something like hallway track, it was like, well, is that the thing that I contributed to? They kept saying that oh. over and over again, which is cool, because it was oh. like, yeah, this is totally the thing you <laughs> contributed to. Because so cool. they were like, well, I was expecting a camera. Like, what the heck is that thing? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that's that's the camera. And they're like, no. So it was cool, because I was, I was essentially like selling them on the idea that the thing that they helped me buy is actually doing what it's supposed to do. 
and you know now I'm showing them videos of the things that I've done and they're just like oh this is so cool and obviously with any technology none of this stuff just works you know it's like it may 90% of the way work but you always have these like little obstacles to overcome you know, it's, that's where I come in I love trying to kind of overcome those obstacles and figure out what is it, why is it that the Wi-Fi that I'm trying to connect to doesn't work right? Why doesn't this work? Why doesn't that work? After a while, I'll have this all figured out and I just walk into a room and say, let's stream. So you are able to overcome the technical obstacles, right? but with the WordPress community and Give, we were able to help you overcome the financial obstacles. Definitely. So how quickly was that campaign funded? Well, so the first, first couple minutes, you know, I was already getting people, you know, hey, I'll, I'll give to this, I'll give to that. And then, what was it? It was like within like 12 hours, we already had like the halfway mark or something wow. like that. And then it's like, okay, well, what's, what's going to happen now? And I kept refreshing the page and I'm getting emails and notifications of it, getting, you know, um, money coming in and stuff. And then by, was it, it was 24 hours, I was already funded and ready to go. And I'm seeing you tweet about it. Oh, yeah, this is great. You, you did a great job. Wasn't it 24 hours? It was 24 yeah, hours. which is just insane. Because it's like, you know, I know we put the $600 mark in there. But really, it was the 20s and 40s and 60s and 80s. You know, all those little things that built up to, okay, now we can actually buy this thing. Yeah, I will say that tears got in my eyes. <laughs> it was amazing to watch the WordPress community surround you. Yeah. For something that you've been doing for free for years, mm -hmm. um, years and years and years. Yeah, I mean, for me, I was recording those things for me. And so it's easy to tell people like, um, yeah, I'm not recording that this week because um, I'm not interested in the topic, you know, like, like as an archival piece, um, I'm not gonna use that. And they're like, well, what about the rest of us? And I'm like, oh, you thought I was recording these for you. No, <laughs> I'm actually recording these for me. And so when you say that, you're justifying the fact that it's okay to not do stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Because you're not accountable. Right, right. Now, I feel more accountable because it's like, okay, people threw money into this. Now, how do I produce the thing that I, that needs to be done? And so it's cool because now I just show up and it takes five seconds to set it up and I'm like, okay, away we go. So when, when the meetups occur, you're using Facebook Live within the group. Within and the group. how is that working with the Mevo camera? Yeah, so um, on Facebook, or rather on the uh, Mevo, it actually asks you in the app, it says, hey, who do you want to stream to? And I go, oh, well, I want to stream to Facebook. And it says, oh, you're a member of all these groups and all these pages. Pick which one. So then I pick the one that I want to have stream to it, and then it says, what's the title? You type in the title of the thing, you hit the go button, and it just starts streaming. And it notifies everybody in, the, you know, in that page or group, hey, he's streaming live. Wow, so what would be your advice to somebody who wanted to use Give, for example, mm -hmm. for crowdfunding, not just for our nonprofits? Um, well, if it's, if it's something that you feel that people are going to be very passionate about, or that you feel that you can essentially give them a stake in that thing, you're going to be able to do well with it. If there's a, a compassion piece to it, where it's like... Um, uh, you know, my, my son's having some type of issue or we just lost a car or, you know, there's a flood, whatever those types of big major things are, you know, people feel that they should, you know, help you out with that. When it's something like this, there needs to be a little bit more of a buy-in to it. And that's where it's like, I'm going to produce something for you and you're going to enjoy the thing that I'm producing for you because you attend these meetups anyhow, but now you're attending the meetup while you're at home with a broken leg. Right. You know, it's like that kind of thing. So with community buy-in, you would definitely use Give for crowdfunding. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. No problem at all. No problem at all. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm glad we were able to take community money that was from Give and talk about Give. Yes. That's even better. <laughs> we circled all the way back, right? <laughs> thank you. Yeah. No problem at all.